Howdy world, Jimmy Trev here. Uh, another not so lovely day up here in paradise. Roll the intro. Hi, Jimmy Trev here and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Rightio well, it's uh, another not so lovely day up here in paradise. Been running here nearly every day for two weeks, so I uh, haven't been out on the bike. And I'm about to jump in the boat and go and do my uh, Civic SES duties and go and mow that uh, the shed lawn stand there. Now, I haven't done them for like, uh, probably at least two weeks, maybe even more. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I better get to work, so we'll catch a bit. Right now, well, it's cold start in the boat. Oh, shit, so... Uh. needs a bit of a warm-up so like I was saying it's uh, it's been a couple of weeks since I've gone and done the uh, SES shed lawns um, I managed to get mine done over but I haven't done the shed lawns for uh, at least a couple of weeks it's just non-stop raining it's so out of season and out of character normally this time of year we don't even see any rain most of our rains come when we get cyclones up north but uh, this year totally different um, a lot of people are putting it down to cloud seeding and so forth, but I won't get into the politics of that. But um, yeah, even though it's gonna probably rain on me today, I'm still gonna go and do it. I've just gotta get it knocked over and done. I've got the mower on board, but I doubt I'll be doing much mowing today. It'll probably be just all whipper snipping. And uh, yeah, I think I'll appreciate it. I'll get my lawns done either tomorrow or the next day, maybe. Pack of soothers. They're great. Oh, and that's happening a lot too. These old starter motors, they get a bit dodgy. They're not as reliable. I pulled out the high torque starter motor and, and sort of rebuilt this old one and stuck it in there. It's been really good for the last week or so. It's um, solenoid keeps sticking. I carry with me a ball, big, huge ball paint hammer and a long jack handle just in case I have to get in there and give it a bit of a tap. So anyway, let's get on the road. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I can't believe the weather this year. Like as far as, uh, it's like, it's literally like a Vic summer. He's gonna love me for that one. But it has literally been raining, literally, I said literally twice. It has been raining every day for near on two weeks. Well, as I said in another video earlier, it's actually been raining pretty much every day since November. Very unseasonal, seasonal, I can't even speak, very unseasonal weather. Now, for those who uh, follow me because of my model builds, I've got two models coming. Hey, mate. dark and black everywhere yeah I've got two models coming I've got um, I've gone to army tanks this time because I haven't built one since I was like 14 and I picked up two oh, we got roadworks down here do I keep going or do I turn around what do we do here we got some roadworks happening down here um, hmm. anyway Back to what I was saying, so I've got uh, two models coming. Hopefully they'll be here uh, mid next week. They'll post, they're getting posted hopefully today and should arrive in time for my 60th birthday. Yeah, can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't believe it, I'm turning fucking 60. Can't fucking believe it. Anyway, quick trip down to Main Street before we go to work. So yeah, they should be hopefully here mid next week. And one of them is a massive model with over 300 something plus parts. I got the two of them for $110 posted from somewhere in New South Wales. So as soon as they show up next week, I'll do a sh short vid uh, showing them. And then of course, uh, I'll do the progressive vids as they're being built. Main 
street very dead. Typical, typical beacon. So there's definitely rain around, but I don't think I'm going to get rained on today, which will be a bit of a bonus. But it does mean I'm here, for, I'm going to be here for at least a, yeah, it does mean I'll be here for a couple of hours, I reckon, trying to knock over this job. Alright, let's pull in. Has anyone actually done anything since I haven't been here? It doesn't, oh God, it's, uh, it is so overgrown and that grass all through there is just so thick. I don't think I'll be putting a mower through any of this today. I'll have to whip a snipper down first and then get into it with the mower later. So anyway, worlds, I gotta get to work. I'm not gonna film any of it, why should I? Um, you've never seen a lawn mow before and I've got a couple of hours work here. So I might catch you halfway through at Smoko. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Right out well, so I just knocked over the first part of it. I actually did get the mower out, so I whipper snipped it all and got all the top layer off. And uh, then quickly ran over the mower. I was two notches higher than I normally do. It's a, uh, it's just the way it's mower. And there's rain coming in. Now I've just pulled the pin for a minute. I'm going to quick um, sit here and see if this rain's going to come in as bad as it looks, or uh, I get back out. And you can't see that I've got another paddock over there. Uh, behind the shed. It's not too bad from where I whipper snipped the last time a couple of weeks ago But I still have to do the same thing going to whipper snipper first and then run out with the mower I just wanted to see how much rain we we're having And uh, just grab a quick gasper because I'm gasping for air I'm gonna have to quit smoking again. I'm gonna wait till after my birthday. My birthday is uh, Only it's less than two weeks away, and I'm just gonna run a fucking muck I'm gonna get so fucking pissed and so fucking stoned and blah blah blah, which means I won't be able to ride and go anywhere for at least a, a week or more. But after that, uh, it all stops, and I'm gonna start, um, yeah, quitting the smoking again and just just try and get back on track to where I was. So after two and a half years of not smoking, so yeah, no rides on the bike. Um, it's just been way too wet, way too cold, and there's just no point getting out on the bike while it's like this. Um, I've looked at the bomb site later this week uh, and into early next week. We're looking like 26, 27, no rains, and I do need to do a trip over to either Bundy or Scary Borough. Um, I want to pick up some cigars for my birthday as well. Um, so hopefully there will be a bike ride in that time. So anyway, I'm just going to sit out this little bit of showers. It doesn't look to be too bad. Grab a quick gasp of breath and uh, get back in it and knock this lawn over. So we'll catch you in a little while. Oh, right here, well, I was a bit puffed out. That was like whipper snipping and then mowing in a swamp. Uh, I know you can't see it over there, having that corner over there. But the job is done. Let's get. Oh, let's get out of here and head towards home. So, we've got a couple of little showers, but nothing in it that was worth mentioning. Who's this guy? Don't know who the fuck that was, but it's certainly not an SCS. Maybe just cutting through the shops. Oh shit, job done. Thank fuck for that. Rightio. Now I've got my lawns to do. Probably not today. Bikes over at the pub, they're in for a wet ride. And see it through the gap there. Yeah, a few bikes there. They're certainly going to be in for a wet ride wherever they're going because we are absolutely surrounded by rain. Sort of going around us here. What was that? Cute as fuck. Yeah, he's having a good look at them. So, Oh shit. So yeah, to um, those uh, few subscribers that uh, have joined me since I built that uh, semi-trailer tipper. Probably one of the worst videos I've ever made and got more subscribers out of that than I did any other video pretty much up until recently. 
So yeah, uh, I've got two army tanks coming, hopefully, I, don't, I doubt if they'll arrive this week, being Wednesday today, um, and it's coming up from New South Wales, so hopefully it'll arrive by the end of next week, like I said, in time for my birthday, as my own birthday present, and the uh, King Tiger, it is massive, you've got so many pieces, um, and all internal workings to some degree, it's probably going to take me, I'd say it's going to take me more than a week to do. I've got two, and I've got another. Tiger tank, uh, a lot smaller, so I'll probably start that one first just to get refreshed of uh, building army tanks. As I said, I haven't built one since I was 14. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's gone black as black out there. to the neighbours, we well, got pretty good neighbours. Even old fat boy next door, he's not too bad a neighbour at the end of the day. He mows, he gets uh, old Daryl in to mow the lawns every time I mow mine. He rings up old black Daryl and gets him to come in and mow his lawn, where at one stage he was just growing a snake foot out there. So. Holy shit, I'm done. All right, well, it's we're home. Um, it looks like it's about to piss down again, so I'm gonna get all the gear out of the car and um, just plan up around here and do a few of my own jobs for today. So. Oh, you know the drill. Stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze. We'll catch you later. Bye.